what's good my lovelies lovely soul empress here coming to do the weekly energy check for may 2nd to the 8th oh my goodness it is flying this is covering the days that uh because i do these a week in advance okay so just to let you know this is the week that i am giving out um the recordings that i do for my private membership to youtube so that you guys can see what you would get on a daily basis okay so for this um and like i said the weeklies come out a week in advance okay so you would um the members got this actually on april 25th okay so anyway you got the knight of um cups okay so i feel like um there, this is could be about a love offer or Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. You have the star, okay? I feel like something has been taking a long time for you to uh, achieve something. And with the magician, you're at working at manifesting something. You got the King of Pentacles in reverse. So you could feel right now like there's a financial shortage, okay? Or you're trying to, like I said, achieve something or someone around you is trying to achieve something. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, I feel like this has something to do with a commitment because you got the Hierophant cross, okay? And this also could be like in the method that you're trying to achieve something by doing all the right things. And maybe that's why it's taking you longer, but that's the appropriate way to go. You got the Six of Swords. You are working towards moving to calmer waters. You got the Eight of Pentacles. This could be about work or something someone wants to work on something with you and i also feel like that is part of it it feels like you got somebody coming towards you okay they could feel like there's a shortage of money and that's why things you know they can't progress with you in a particular way or you're trying to get something to progress both in your business and your personal life and they're happening simultaneously okay you got concern gift and coffin so i feel like somebody's concerned okay and they feel like they should give you a gift before something ends or make you some type of offer to put off an ending you got heart to heart conversations and you have children so this could be about commitment this could be about having children or let's say you're in you know a new situation with somebody and they have kids but you don't or you want kids and they don't it's something like that and then something to do with work okay so we're gonna take a look all right you also got a uh, victory number 2810 so you're completing something although it may not feel like that to you right now you got hostilities crossed something could have been tabled that's number 28 I mean, 26 reduces to an eight. So there could be something that is not all the way resolved, okay? And then you got angel of strength, number 50 reduces to a five. There's some type of change coming in a situation, although it's not completely, um, I feel like there's an agreement, but with the hostilities crossed, there may be some residual energy and the angel of strength is trying to deal with that, okay? Getting the strength card and the empress standing there, okay? And attachment, which is also number five. So it's like, this could be trying to overcome some type of codependency or trying to continue to walk together without, you know, um, without codependency, okay? You also see that she is taking off a mask. So this uh i with the hostilities crossed i was saying that there could be some kind of undercurrent or something that's completely not out in the open yet all right so we're gonna take a seven card spread for the seven days all right so spirit can you show me what's going on on the second spirit second of may please thank you and can you show me tuesday please thank you can you show me wednesday one card please wednesday thank you can you show me Thursday? Thursday, please. Thank you. Can you show me Friday, please? Thank you. Can you show me Saturday, please? Thank you. Can you show me Sunday, please? Thank you. You got the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, okay? So somebody could be trying to give equally to you or you could feel like you've been overgiving to somebody and you could have pulled back your energy. Now, 
for Monday, you got the lovers. It could have something to do with a Gemini, but there could just be some kind of decision that's being made. Spirit, can you show me some type of choice? Why is this lover's card here? With the emperor and the eight of cups crossed. Okay, somebody's choosing um, something that has to do with you because they can't bring themselves to walk away. Okay, it could be an Aries, a Libra, Taurus. Okay, Scorpio. There's some type of resistance. I feel like somebody's afraid of losing you. Okay, now you got the queen of swords for Tuesday. Tor um, Aries, I mean... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Spirit, why is this uh, Queen of Swords here? This could be you um, looking for some type of truth, okay? Queen of Swords walks with this sword of truth, okay? So, Spirit, why is this Queen of Swords here? Can you show me? With the Nine of Wands, you could be resistant to some type of offer because you could be questioning if it's out of ego with the sun or you are saying, I don't have enough information, so I'm going to keep my, my guard up until I know that this what this person has chosen. Maybe they haven't made this clear to you. Now, for Wednesday, you have the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. Spirit, why is this Hierophant here? And the Hierophant was in your pre-shuffle. Spirit, why? So somebody could be, remember I said that there was a gift, okay? Somebody could be offering you some type of commitment to avoid a tower. Maybe they feel like they're in jeopardy of losing you with that Eight of Cups cross. It very much feels like that. Spirit, why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? With the Ten of Swords in reverse. I feel like somebody wants to tell you their truth. Okay, to avoid a betrayal or to close out a chapter of betrayal, right? To heal something so that the wheel can move forward in the Ace of Cups, but they're very nervous with the Nine of Swords, okay? And the Seven of Cups, they're not sure how it's going to pan out, but they do know that they want the Six of Swords with you. They feel weak, okay? With the Strength card in reverse, all right? So, um... For the uh, Thursday, you have the Queen of Pentacles crossed and the Tower. Spirit, why is this Queen of Pentacles crossed? I feel like this could be you wondering, you know, what station you hold in somebody's life. Okay, with the Hangman, you could be unsure. Okay, maybe something they're saying doesn't feel clear enough to you. With the magician, I feel like somebody is trying to put some work in to show you something, but it's like you're unsure. And then the tower spirit, why? So um, I'm hearing it's now or never, right? With the um, strength card, I feel like they're finally facing something. It could be that they're cracked open. This could be some type of surprise about going to calmer waters, okay? With the king of cups, I feel like this person finally wants to open up emotionally to you. With the knight of pentacles in reverse, there could have been a lack of movement, but I feel like this person feels like they, they have no other choice but to move now or uh, lose you, okay? Now you got the seven of pentacles for Friday. Something that maybe you felt wasn't going anywhere or had stopped growing, but somebody's going to communicate to you, okay, about the Ace of Cups. They're going to be communicating to you some kind of truth that they've had a revelation, okay, with the King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. This person's coming towards you because they don't want to get left out in the cold. Okay, you've had three, um, well, no, two Kings. No. Yeah, two kings, the king of wands, uh, the king of wands, and the king of cups, and the emperor here. I feel like somebody's trying to get up the nerve with something. Now Saturday, you got the five of pentacles. So somebody, like I said, doesn't want to get left out in the cold with the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Okay, so they're offering some type of offer to you with the ten of pentacles, family, generational wealth, and legacy. Okay, because uh, there's been a lot of conflicts about this. You got two fives equal to 10 and the 10, right? 
So this could be an ending for some of you, but for the majority of you, it's clarity that this person feels conflicted because they don't want to be left out in the cold, so they're going to make you some type of offer. Okay? Now you got the Nine of Cups for Sunday, Spirit. Why? So I feel like somebody's going to offer you something here with the Nine of Cups. And it is your wish fulfillment, but you're not sure, okay, if you should accept it because you're not sure if it was made with an honest heart. With the four of pentacles crossed, you might feel like, is this a trick? Is this person just trying to hold on to me because they know I want something more? Six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, why is that? But they do want to give uh, to you equally because the star is here, okay? They want to heal something and they feel like it's divinely guided. Eight of pentacles, they want to work on something with you. Okay, Page of Wands, they feel passionate towards you, all right? But they have a lot of anxiety attached to this. Every time I look at the bottom of the deck in reference to them, they have so much fear and anxiety that you're going to leave in some way. Spirit, can you show me what is, um, what else do we need to know from the Kipper deck, please? What else is going on in this situation that we need to know? You got Occupation, Despair in Reverse. concerning gift just like i said okay so we're going to clarify these and take a look at what's going on here occupation spirit why with divine masculine this divine masculine could be concerned about work or they're trying to get a level up with that king of pentacles being in reverse and the emperor okay they want to be the boss that pays the cost maybe they don't feel secure in that okay despair in reverse from the past happen okay so this person wants to start over with you okay they want to put all that despair shit behind you guys you guys could have had some problems in the past okay now you have lovers concern and gifts spirit wise lovers here okay so you like i said you might have felt with that nine of cups and the um four cups and the four of pentacles like this person was just making you an offer to try to hold on to you but it's not the case they're choosing you because they want to with this entrapment in reverse they're not trying to entrap you okay and then you also got a uh, concern Concern came out with intervention. They could have went to others for assistance and trying to, you know, make you some type of offer or settlement, you see, at the bottom of the deck. So they're trying to think of what can um, they offer you, being that it seems like this person has some limited income. What can they offer you that would, you know, um, make you value this connection or, or um as a symbol of commitment with that hierophant okay now you got gift out here spirit why one more please okay so you got grip anchors chain um way down okay so they don't want to lose you so they're not trying to control you but they're trying to make sure that you don't slip through their fingers okay this could all be about some type of impending move with sold okay they don't want you to leave receipts proof show me so they want to show you that they mean business that they're serious about this connection you got children at the bottom of the deck you could both have children you have children together but there's something about a child here that could um be at odds or um not so much at odds but it, it it affects the overall situation so this person may not only be thinking about you but about the greater picture about how you know it could be blended family or desire for children but it's something like that where it's going to affect the whole unit okay so that's pretty much what I have for you. I feel like this person wants to offer you something that's going to prove to you that they're into you in the in the way that you need them to be. Maybe you told this person that you needed some type of sign of commitment or that you needed them to make a choice. And it feels like it's weighing heavy on their mind right now, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. I'd just like to say thank you to my returning subscribers for coming through and spending a little time with me. And if you're a new viewer and you felt I resonated with you, please like, subscribe, and comment as I'd love to have you as part of the lovely soul family. I'm wishing you all light and love and blessings. I'm blessings. Namaste.